hello children welcome back to my youtube channel hope all of you are absolutely fine now uh, in the previous class i have already discussed about the google form test i hope you have given the test the demo test which i have taken yesterday those who are still facing any difficulty please feel free to contact with me okay i am there to help you out whatever queries whatever doubts whatever difficulties you people are facing please let me know okay so today i am going to revise the two chapters which you will be having for your first unit test the little duckling and the rain drops i hope you have got the syllabus i have sent the syllabus through the app the little duckling and the rain drops now children let me be very clear to all of you as it will be a multiple choice questions multiple choice questions i mean will be there so what you have to do is that you have to read the lessons thoroughly because question answers meanings make sentences opposites whatever i have given yes from there only it will come but it will be a multiple choice examination so if you don't read the chapters thoroughly if you don't read the chapters properly you won't be able to give the test properly so i request all of you to read the lessons again and again you see and read but please read the lessons this is my earnest request to my dear children please read the lessons learn the poem because fill in the blanks might come from the poem you may not be asked to write the whole poem because as it is a multiple choice uh, i mean as because it uh, multiple choice questions will be there so the whole poem you will not be asked to write but fill in the blanks will be coming from there okay opposites might come from there one word answers might come from there so if you don't read the chapter properly you won't be able to understand please make sure of it okay today i'm going to revise the little duckling i hope all of you remember ducky who was ducky ducky was a little duckling now one day what happened while she was going for a swim she met a sparrow on her way and she looked at the sparrow what did she see the sparrow was sitting up on a tree okay and the ducky sorry and the duckling i mean ducky whose name was ducky was very sad because ducky did not have strong feet like the sparrow so she was unable to sit on a tree and this made her very sad next again she met a rabbit and the rabbit was hopping and again ducky wished to hop like the rabbit but what happened the ducky did not sorry the duckling did not have long feet to hop like the rabbit so the duckling was unable to hop this thing also made her sad again next she met a hen the hen was scratching the ground for worms and the duckling wished to scratch for worms see in the same way as the hen because the hen had sharp claws to scratch but ducky did not have sharp claws okay ducky did not have sharp claws so she was unable to scratch the ground for worms again this thing made her unhappy 
So at last what happened? What happened at last? She went to her mother. She went to Mama Duck and she saw Mama Duck was swimming in the pond. Now, uh, Ducky asked her mother that, Mama, I wish I could swim like you. Now, what did the mother say? See, her mother said, Ducky, to come and try. To come in the pond and try. And Ducky did exactly what, what her mother said. Ducky went into the water and she started to swim. Quack, quack. This is fun. My flat feet are so good. Now Ducky was very happy. She was able to swim. Her flat feet were so good that made her swim in the pond. So now the ducky was happy at the end of the day because she thought that a sparrow cannot swim, a rabbit cannot swim, a hen also cannot swim, but I can swim. I like my fit. And she was very happy from that day. This is a lovely story. Hope all of you can now recall the story. Now children, please read the story. Do the exercises which I have sent. Please learn them. Okay. Learn the poem. The poem is also very easy. I hope all of you remember the raindrops. Peter patter raindrops falling from the sky. Here is my umbrella to keep me safe and dry. When the rain is over and the sun begins to glow, little flowers start to bud and grow and grow and grow. In this poem, we read about a little boy. We read about a little boy who enjoyed the rain because there was an umbrella with him to keep him safe and dry in the rain and after the rain was over then also he enjoyed because the sun began to glow and the little flowers which were there they started to bud they started to bloom and they grew and grew and grew. Two exercises are there at the back. And whatever exercises I have given, please do them. Read the poem. Learn the poem. Because fill in the blanks will come from the poem. Okay. So... We are going to meet in the next class. Please get ready for the unit test. And if you have any doubts, any queries, please feel free to ask me. I am always there to help out you all. Okay? So, we are going to meet in the next class. Till then, stay home. Stay happy. Okay. And continue to study. Okay. Thank you.